Welcome, everyone. This is Alex for the Coaster Spot and the Adventure Spot. So you're watching this as the, the Coaster Spot right after this event happened. I have a second channel that's being launched very soon. I figured this one was topical, and I'm so excited. We're at the Field of Dreams movie site and stadium. We're going to see a baseball game today. This is so cool. It's a very last-minute addition to my road trip, which is consisting of a bunch of amusement parks and water parks. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I saw that I was two hours out of the way. Wow, this is going to be so cool. So we're going to go ahead and show you the Field of Dreams first, the movie site, and then a little bit about the stadium and everything. And if you're seeing the MLB game in a few days, uh, this will help you out, I guess. You're parked in, in, a, in a field. What more would you expect? This is amazing. So they had a guy dressed up in the White Sox uniform, correct, to the movie and everything in the era. And that was so cool. Got my photo with him. Oh my God, I'm like freaking out right now. This is unreal. This is so cool. I don't know what else to say. Like, this is the baseball movie. Like, this is the definitive baseball movie, Field of Dreams. Is this heaven? No, it's Iowa. I love it. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. And I know I want to come back at some point when there's not a buttload of people here, but uh, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to me. This is great. Look at this. Oh my goodness. There's a museum. We have to check that out. Free corn on the cob from the cow. I mean, seriously, you have to, right? Oh my goodness. It's, a bunch of, it's the River City Bandit's uh, raccoon dude. Here's the informational sign about the game last year. The White Sox versus the Yankees. And here's a guy who uh, came with the idea to turn this into something more than what it was before because it needed to be. Look at this. All right. They have a gift shop. Let's go check it out. We might have to buy something. Here's the quote. Is that the movie playing? Uh, a bunch of memorabilia. Oh my goodness. The stands. The field. I think we gotta we gotta walk the bases, right? You gotta do that. How could you not? Walk the bases. So cool. So I <laughs> It's not that I ever thought I had never come here. It's never, I never thought to come here. And the funny thing is actually, before I even found out that there was gonna be a Field of Dreams game, my buddy Alan was like, oh, you're gonna be really close to the Field of Dreams site. You, you should go there. And I'm like, I should. So I was planning on coming. And then I found out that this was happening. I was like, oh my God, it's perfect. So I probably should pick up the pace. But I'm not gonna. Okay, we did it. We're gonna have to go out in the cornfield, of course. Gotta do that. Backside of the uh, residence. I got a bunch of cornholes set up. I mean, it's only appropriate, I think. Look at this. All right, let's go. Let's go walk into the uh, corn. 
I'm not actually 100% sure how you get to the ballpark. Okay, I realized. To get to the ballpark, you literally just have to go through the corn. That is fantastic. They thinned it out right there, I think. But like, oh my god. All the White Sox players out here. Just hanging around. Have a good. All right, this is really good actually. Just sitting here on the grandstand, watching everybody go their way and uh, take me to all in. I think that's about all it from the movie site. We do have refreshments. You gotta. Got some peanuts. They're actually not that bad of a snack to have if you're doing the uh, low carb Atkins keto diet. That corn though was definitely not good for that. But uh, it was, I'm so glad I did. That was like seriously some of the best uh, corn ever. It was just buttered so nicely, cooked so nicely. So, and I'm excited to come back here tonight when we're on the way out. I don't think it'll be nearly as crowded because we're going to leave a little early because I don't want to get stuck in traffic getting out of here. I can only imagine what that's like if you didn't. <laughs> this is so cool. This is so freaking cool. Okay, it, breaking the uh, illusion here, it does turn into a, a regular path. The music playing. <laughs> this is so surreal. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> village here they set up it is quite impressive everything they got going on here wow of course lots of toilets but it's like wow this is really cool and of course this is all more set up for the major league baseball team but uh why not use it for more than one thing when you're out here? Definitely. I don't know if they had the minor league game last year. I have no idea. Comment down below. No idea. But and more of the same. The line uh, at the movie site was about the same, if not longer. Even though they told us to move on in. So, uh... Pretty basic food here. Burgers, sausage, hot dogs, nachos, and french fries. That's, that's all you're gonna get. Let's take a closer look at those prices for you. There you go. You can scan that QR code. I'm guessing for the menu. Oh, they have more stuff. A lot more stuff. Look at this. Funnel cakes, cheesy fries. Tenderlines. There we go. Definitely need to try the tenderline. I was told I need to find, try that out. It's a Midwest thing. You don't really see it in the Northeast. Let's take a look at the merchandise tent. Very pricey. As uh, you'd expect. And it's all merchandise for the major league game, not the minor league game. There you go. So we are not in the more expensive seats. Uh, I think this is basically all that was left. The bleachers. So it is what it is. I don't really care. On section L12. And it looks like we're uh, about two thirds of the way up. That's not bad. I'll take it. Number twenty-five. And here's our view. Number twenty-seven, David Benson. Number 30 from Urban Dell, Iowa, and Waukee High School, Matt Sullivan. Wow. Batting fifth, playing right field. Number nine, Tyler Bento. Three. Play ball. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
Twenty second race here. I love this guy's name. Doesn't <laughs> I stayed for six innings. <laughs> it's enough baseball for me. Some beautiful sunsets as we leave. Still gonna hang out over at the uh, movie site for a little bit longer. But two hours of baseball was enough. I mean, you don't have a team in it. Well, that was our night here at the Field of Dreams, seeing a single-A baseball game. It's pretty special. I'd love to stay till nighttime, but I got a long drive, so it's time to get out of here and maybe come back again someday. If the Phillies ever played here, I would definitely come back for that. That would be amazing. Such a special experience. One that less than a week ago I had no idea I'd be doing. I feel like that's kind of the best thing. Like this road trip that I've been on for roller coasters kind of integrate some other stuff into it and uh, keep the schedule really open. And this is what I was able to do for sure.